Ghost? Oh, hi there, Gumboot Kids. Let's run around. Let's run around. Oh, hi, Gumboot Kids. Check it out. I was inspired to paint after exploring the hills this morning. While I was there, I dug up an extraordinary rock. It was very old, and it told a story. How can a rock tell a story? Well, that's today's nature mystery, the case of the story rock. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. A valley is a low area between two hills. This looks like a valley. Found it. Good work, Gumboot Kids. Now for clue number two. Shovel. Here's some shovels. Let's dig. You'll dig the next clue, too. <laughs> clue number three. Spiral! Oh, look. Ooh, what's this? It's a rock, and it's shaped like a spiral. Okay, Gumboot Kids. You found all three clues. Now let's put them together to solve the case of the story rock. You found the valley, and you used a shovel to dig up a spiral-shaped rock. So what's with the story rock? Hmm. This rock looks like a creature. Maybe it's a fossil. That's right, Gumboot Kids. Fossils are the remains of ancient animals and plants. They're formed when an animal or plant is buried in mud or sand. Over time, this is compressed into rock. It can take thousands, even millions of years. Fossils tell us stories about living things from the past. I get it, so a fossil is a story rock. We did it! Case closed! Yay! Way to go, Gumboot Kids! Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. Every rock tells a story about where it's been and what it's experienced. Next time you're outside, pick up a few rocks. Notice their color, texture, and shape. How are they different? Imagine how they got there. What story do they tell you? Fossils tell a story of animals and plants. Fossils are imprints kept on rocks and sand. No, if we didn't have fossils, then we wouldn't really have a clue. No, if we didn't have fossils, then we wouldn't really have a clue. We wouldn't know about dinosaurs. 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 Well, we love them the best, so we know what to do with today. I finished my painting. It was inspired by the story rocks. Without fossils, we wouldn't know that dinosaurs once roamed this valley. Imagine that. Good night, Gumboot Kids. Meet Daisy, she's got a way of making beautiful things. Never know what nature will teach her what inspiration will bring. Oh, why, Daisy, oh, why, Daisy, what are we making today? Daisy, oh, why, Daisy, oh, why, Daisy, I bet we'll make something great. 
Isn't it beautiful? Look at all that detail. Oh, hi, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy. Would you believe it? This is a fossil of a fern, and it could be millions of years old. It might even be older than dinosaurs. Incredible, isn't it? Aha! This fossil has inspired me to make a nature craft. Would you like to make a nature rubbing with me, Gumboot Kids? <laughs> Yay! Step one, head outside and collect some things with different patterns and textures, like leaves, shells, and bark. <laughs> Remember, only take what's abundant and only take a little. Step two, gather your craft supplies. For this, you'll need crayons and paper. I love making nature crafts. Here's your seashell. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Step three. Now, place a sheet of paper on top of your textured object. Then use your crayons and gently rub back and forth across the paper. If you need to, tape your object to the table. Use different colors and try different shapes on the same sheet of paper. And remember, have fun. There's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. Look, this is interesting. The impressions look like fossils. It's an impression of a shell. Lovely, Gumbo Kids. Those are some awesome nature rubbings. I love making nature crafts. Okay, Gumbo Kids. Let's see what you've made. <laughs> I'm really proud of my art. I love what you made. That was fun. Nature rubbings are really fun and easy to make. I think I'll put these with my fossil collection to remind me of all the textures and patterns that can be found in nature. See you later, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Daisy. I love treasure hunting For treasures all around I love treasure hunting Do you want to join me? A couple of friends, they went out looking For treasures all around, up and down they looked high, they looked low They walked fast and they walked slow Lit by the sun and the moon and the sky Look at what we got We got ourselves a nugget Look at what we got We got ourselves a rock An agate rock Look at what we got We got ourselves a nugget Found a nugget Treasure hunting for treasures all around. I love treasure hunting. Do you want to join me? Look at what they got. They got themselves an agate. Look at what we got. We got ourselves a rock. Agate rock. Look at what we got. We got ourselves an agate. Found an agate. Found an egg in four leaf clover rock. I love treasure hunting for treasures all around. I love treasure hunting. Do you want to join me? I love treasure hunting for treasures on the beach. I love treasure hunting. Do you want? Ta-da! Oh, hi, Gumboot Kids. I was just practicing a magic trick. 
I just love magic. <laughs> Abracadabra! This morning, I came upon something truly magical. It was like mud, except when I touched it, I could turn it into anything I wanted. What was it? That's today's nature mystery, the case of the magical mud. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. Look at that, it's a big canyon. A canyon is a large valley with steep sides. You found it, Gumboot Kids. Now, clue number two. Dust! Be you, it's dusty. We found dust. Oh boy! Dust yourselves off, Gumboot Kids, for clue number three. Water! I've got some water. Here you go. Ah, refreshing. Thank you. Excellent, Gumboot Kids. You found all three clues. Now let's put them together to solve the case of the magical mud. You found the canyon, dust, and some water. So what is this magical mud? Hmm, I know. Let's mix water and dust to make mud. This mud feels like clay. That's right. Clay is a special kind of mud made by the decomposition of rocks. Clay can be formed into all kinds of different shapes. Isn't it magical? I get it. The clay is magical mud. We did it! Yay! Great work, Gumboot Kids. Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. Working with your hands is a lot of fun. Have you ever played with clay? Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. It feels good. Feel the cool, soft texture with your fingers. What will you make? Real clay comes from the earth. It's a mix of dust and water. Clay is healing, soft and forgiving. When you play with clay, everything melts away. You can make anything you want to. You can make anything you dream of. You can make anything you want to. You can make anything that you want. Shaping it, rolling into what you want. Leading it, shaping it, rolling into what you want. When you play with play, everything melts away. You can make anything you want to. You can make anything you dream of. You can make anything you want to. You can make anything that you want. We sure had fun today. I worked my magic on some new creations. Check it out. I made some clay cups for my next tea party with Daisy. See you soon, Gumboot Kids. Goodbye, Scout! Hi, Gumboot Kids. Hi, Daisy! I just found a package on my doorstep. It's from Scout. Aha! Scout sure knows me. It's clay. I'm so inspired to make a nature craft. Would you like to make some clay art with me, Gumboot Kids? Yay! Step one. On your next nature walk, collect some small, interesting shapes from nature. Look what I found. Shells, rose hips, rocks, chestnuts, or ferns. I found this pine cone in the forest. We found some pine cones too. Step two, you'll need some air dry modeling clay. You can get it from a regular craft supply store. <laughs> now roll it out on the table. Create any shape you like and have fun. There's no right or wrong way to make a nature craft. I'm gonna make a star shape. 
I love the way the clay feels soft and squishy in my hands. I love what you're making. I love what you're making too. Now, step three. Press your nature objects onto your clay shape. You can leave the objects in the clay or pull them off to reveal the impression. That's it. Ooh, look, these little shells are fun to work with. Can you please help me? Yes, of course, we can do this together. Can you pass me a shell? Here you go. Lovely Gumboot Kids, great teamwork. Nice job. Okay, Gumboot Kids, let's see what you've made. <laughs> Lovely work, Gumboot Kids. Working with clay is a lot of fun. I just love how you can make, well, anything you want to, and anything you dream of. I'll package this up and mail it to Scout as a thank you present. After all, it was his clay that inspired a lot of fun today. Goodbye, Daisy! story of animals and plants. Fossils are imprints kept on rocks and sand. No, if we didn't have fossils, then we wouldn't really have a clue. No, if we didn't have fossils, then we wouldn't really have a clue. We wouldn't know about dinosaurs. Oh, hi there, Gumboot Kids. Can you guess where I've been? I was down at the creek exploring when something incredible caught my eye. It was glittering brightly like the sun, so I scooped it up with my pan. Lucky me. What was this lucky glitter? Well, that's today's nature mystery, the case of the lucky glitter. Let's check out my field notes for three clues to help you solve the mystery. Clue number one. There's the creek. It's beautiful. Way to go, Gumboot Kids! Now, clue number two. Sand! There's sand at the bottom of the creek. It feels nice in my fingers. You got it, Gumboot Kids. Now, clue number three. Sunshine! It's 
bright out here. Good thing we got our sunglasses. Aren't you bright, nature detectives? <laughs> okay, now that you've found all three clues, let's put them together to solve the case of the lucky glitter. You found the creek, some sand, and the sunshine. So, what's with the lucky glitter? Hmm. Ooh, look at this rock. It glitters. That's called pyrite. It's sometimes called fool's gold because it glitters like gold. What's this? It's gold. Eureka! You struck gold! Did you know millions of years ago, gold fell to the Earth as part of a massive asteroid shower? These chunks of gold were embedded in the Earth. Today, gold can be found in streams, where it washes down from hills and mountains. Gold is rare, so you're lucky if you find some. So gold is the lucky glitter. We did it! Case closed! Yay! Great work, Gumboot Kids! Now let's pause and have a mindful moment. Panning for gold can be rewarding, but it takes patience and perseverance. Gold is a very pure, very precious metal. It's beautiful because it sparkles and shines brightly in the light. What makes you shine bright? Get up and pan for gold. Get up and pan for gold. Oh, sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. So get up and pan for gold. Get up and pan for gold. Walking, listening to the river roll by. Sifting pans, hoping that something catches our eye. What a lucky day, Gumboot Kids! We all struck gold! The sun was shining, the creek was beautiful, and of course, we found gold! Yahoo! See you soon, Gumboot Kids! Goodbye, Scout! Is alright.